you're looking at a live view of Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40, where a Falcon 9 is about to launch a Dragon spacecraft. This is actually the, the first SpaceX launch I've uh, like to see. It's really hard to describe, honestly, because it's, uh, it's the combination of the, all the human knowledge we have <laughs> created in the past 5,000 years <laughs> and all come to this uh, giant object that can carry uh, the things we've made in the lab to the space station and come back. It reminds you of how far humanity has come from a technology perspective and sort of reminds you of your place in the universe. From far, it almost looks easy. You just see a piece of metal, all of a sudden there is an ignition, and then the rocket is going. Ignition, lift off. It's also just being in the atmosphere, being around people who are excited and we're counting down together and everyone cheering together, you know, with all the fumes and everything and finally launching up, seeing the light, the sound. And for two minutes, you are in awe and you see this very big, powerful machine into the sky. After a while, you do hear the, the sound wave literally physically hitting your body. And that's absolutely stunning as an experience. What the station does is that we're a company that focuses on integration with the blockchain technology and leveraging satellite platform and bringing security and accessibility to the blockchain industry. In simple terms, Space Chain is building a decentralized constellation, bringing together different parties, different commercial entities that may or may not be linked together. So we're providing a neutral infrastructure using decentralized technology and leveraging the economic layers of decentralized technology. It's breaking down barriers to access the infrastructure that is needed to develop space applications. It's driving down costs. All of a sudden, companies that before could not even dream about having some infrastructure in space can actually join in thanks to what is Space Chain doing. So the ISS mission is a payload with nanoracks to the ISS. So nanoracks is the principal provider of services and payloads to the ISS. And we are launching a satellite multi-signature wallet to the ISS. As you know, the blockchain industry often deals with fund transfers in the hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars range. Multi-signature implies you need one or more approvers to all sign off on a single transaction or a doesn't happen. So you have to satisfy multiple parties and you have to satisfy a much higher level of scrutiny in order to get a transaction approved. I believe that this is the first step to showcase how a satellite can be an active part of validating and authenticating the transaction between any party and how that can make that transaction more secure. So it's a milestone also for Bitcoin. Uh, I like the idea that we are bringing Bitcoin as a showcase of what is also the reach for uh, blockchain as a whole, as an industry. 